we might get one of these transmissions in uh, with a complaint of a uh, vibration, noise, or no movement, and the van can still be rolling when it's in park, okay? Now, these are on Ford Transits. Now, this is something that we might also um, want to check when we're working on these cars because it might not come in with this type of complaint, but it's something I want you guys to be aware of and to look at, okay? Ford issued a safety recall 17S15 for Ford Transits built between January 2014 and June of 2017 where the drive shaft coupling can fail. Now, just because we get a Transit in or a uh, Ford product that does not come underneath this recall, we still want to take a look at this thing, okay? And I'm going to show you what we're talking about. What happens on these things is the rubber coupling on the transmission starts to crack as we can see right over here, okay? They'll crack all the way around. And when this happens, you're going to have the vibration and noise, but this can also happen. When the coupling goes completely bad, it's a catastrophic damage on the drive shaft, and now we're going to need not just the coupling anymore, we're going to need a new part of the drive shaft and whatever else it can damage. Okay. Now, what happens is, is it goes bad, and when we're going to replace it with the newer one, Ford came out with the newer one, and I want you to pay close attention to this. Okay. See, the old ones have this small holes notch cut out into them right over here where the larger, where the newer updated one has larger openings, okay? Now, there is also, to this blue dot over here, and that must pay, face the transmission, okay? Now, depending on what type of transit you're working on, you're going to get different parts because there are different lengths of the vehicle that will come out changing things. Okay, so there's more parts compared to the old parts, but we always want to remember we want to look at this notch right over here and make sure we always get the newest, the newest one. Okay, now when we go to get the new one from Ford, it's also going to come with this coupling shield on here. Now the coupling shield is for in case the coupler goes bad, it's going to protect the rest of the vehicle underneath. And what I mean by helping the rest of the vehicle underneath or protecting the vehicle underneath it's going to protect gas lines and brake lines, okay? Now, when we call Ford to get the parts for this thing, you're going to come up with quite a few different parts. This is a um, Ford Transit that is going to be using a center bearing on it, okay? So a two-piece drive shaft. And when it comes with the two-piece drive shaft, you're going to also be changing a pilot bushing on it and the center support center support bolt brackets okay now that's where the um, bearing is for the two-piece drive shaft okay just remember when we're working on one of these transmissions to call up Ford if you know the TSB number like I was telling you earlier which is 17 s 15 make sure you give them the bin number and they're going to give you all the products that are going to be that you are going to need to change this thing to fix it I should say Okay, as I was saying, this larger notch over here, I can't stress this enough. This is the latest one that they have, but this is also to only a temporary fix. Ford came out with a temporary fix until they can get all the parts in to fix this vehicle correctly. So if you get one in and it falls underneath the um, TSB on there, they might not have all the parts, but they should have this coupling in stock for you to go ahead and fix it and get it back out on the road. Now, when we do the correct fix, what Ford is calling the permanent fix on this thing, this is the three-pole drive shaft flange that we're always used to, used to seeing. Okay, We are going to eliminate that, and we are going to go with one that looks like this. They went from a three-bolt one to now a four-bolt one. So it's a little bit more involved of things that we need to do on this. Okay. And now this is the finished product over here. Yes, what they did was they ended up putting U-joints on this thing closer to the transmission, and they also changed this part of the drive shaft. Now this part of the drive shaft was changed because of the uh, split drive shaft. So the one in the back is gonna stay the same. We're gonna keep that original, and the front half is going to be new. So we can put these type of U-joints on there, okay? 
Now, this is one thing I want to make particularly sure that we remember to do. There are these um, dry shaft dampeners that are going to go on the rear differential. Okay. Now, the trans might come in with them already on there, but the thing is, there could be a weight difference on there. So whatever comes in the kit, let's just make sure we use the parts that come from the kit. We might take a look at, oh, they look the same. There's no reason for us to change the thing. No, there is, because if we don't put the right weights back there, we could end up getting a vibration and a noise. You won't get so much of a noise, but you'll get a vibration and probably more at higher speeds. So whatever you do, follow the directions, use all the parts that come with the kit, and you should not have a problem with the thing. Remember, call Ford with the VIN number, and they'll send you all the right parts for this thing. Thank you for watching. For all confirmed fix videos and unlimited technical support, become an ATSG member, your transmission tech solution. Click the membership link below.